Connecticut's primaries are scheduled for August, but no one is sure how this pandemic will look by then. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live at the Capitol for us. And Mike, what might be done to keep voters safe? Well, Secretary of the State Denise Merrill is working with local registrars to answer that very question. Uh, they're running through a number of contingencies right now, and it's it's quite likely that we'll see a number of things done in conjunction in order to keep things safe. Now, Connecticut's primary was actually supposed to happen yesterday. But Governor Ned Lamont has issued two executive orders to delay that. It is now scheduled to happen on August 11th. Some other states have gone forward and just canceled their primaries altogether, at least the presidential primaries. Of course, uh, Democrat and former Vice President Joe Biden uh, seems to have the, uh, the nomination on that side locked up, and President Donald Trump never really faced a, a significant challenge on the Republican side. But you still have a few candidates who want their names on the ballot, Democrats um, Bernie Sanders and Tulsi Gabbard and Republican Rock, Rocky De La Fuente. And here in Connecticut, we, under the state constitution, Denise, uh, Secretary of State Denise Nero is not able to cancel a primary so long as those candidates want their names on the ballot. And so far, they've said that they do want that. So we're looking at a number of scenarios. And of course, you also have the possibility of local primaries in state races. Uh, so we have to be prepared for all of that. So some of the things we're looking at are, are social distancing, having sanitation, having extra poll workers. But of course, there's also the possibility of trying to expand access to absentee ballots. Take a listen. This has not really been tested, and it's certainly never been tested during a pandemic. So that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. Completely, we're completely capable of uh, creating an effort uh, through the Secretary of State's office to, um, to make sure more people have access to mail-in ballots for primaries, for the general. I know, like in South Windsor, we have one school where our poll, um, poll location is in a hallway. Well, in order to accomplish both a Republican and a Democratic primary, we're not going to be able to use that hallway. Now, one of the voices you heard there is Democrat April Capone. She actually touched on the idea of expanding absentee ballots while announcing her, announcing her candidacy for the state Senate. Uh, Merrill saying that uh, we could be looking at you know what what provisions are for people who are sick how does a pandemic affect people's ability to get to the polls but the connecticut constitution does not allow online voting or voting by mail which is why we're looking at absentee ballots reporting live from the capitol mike savino channel 3 eyewitness news